Many bikes these days come with dropper posts fitted as standard, but if you don't have one, they can be a brilliant upgrade. Yes, they are expensive, but I bet you won't look back. So here's how to install a dropper seat post. So there are a few things to think about when buying a dropper post. Um, first, make sure you get the right diameter for your frame. They do come in limited sizes, so that's one of the disadvantages of dropper posts. They might not fit older frames. Uh, you might possibly be able to get a shim to make it fit, but check that first. My frame is designed to use an internal rooted post like a RockShox Reverb Stealth. So that's what I'm gonna use, it's a much neater way of doing it. If you don't have a hole or internal root in, you're gonna to have to use an external hose. Um, there are seat posts that come like that, obviously. Next thing to think about is where you're gonna mount that lever for the remote on your handlebars. Um, I'm running a one by 11 setup, so I'm not using a front mech. So it's really nice to have that lever underneath the bar where that front shifter would be. Therefore, it's really easy to use. Um, so make sure you get that lever in a really nice spot will really determine how usable your seat post is. One final thing to consider is how much drop your post has. Um, the most common drops you can buy are 100, 125 and 150 millimeter drops. So personally, I like uh, a dropper post with the biggest amount of drop possible, but you need to consider your normal seat height. And if with the, the seat post totally slammed into the frame, with your seat post fully extended, that is too high, then that's not gonna work. If that's your normal seat height and then the seat post pops up higher, that's too high. So you might have to go down to say 125 or 100 mil drop seat post. With your old fixed seat post and seat, measure how much seat post is showing with your saddle at the right height, and then consult the manufacturer's website of the dropper post to determine which size seat post and drop you're gonna need. So I've got my remote lever and plenty of hose and I'm just gonna route the hose first before I start taking any length off it because if you cut it too short to begin with, you're gonna be in problems. So uh, it's dead easy on the canny and I'm literally just pushing the hose through. This frame's nice and easy to work the internal routing because it pops out just here. Some frames, the hose will go all the way around and into the down tube. Uh, in that case, you might find you have to take the bottom bracket out to sort of coax the hose around that bend. Some frames have sort of internal tubing almost for the hose that are gonna help. So you might find just pushing it through will work, but occasionally you wanna take that BB out to help. So now it's time to mount your new seat post to the frame. Um, make sure your seat tube's nice and clear. It's not full of grit or muddy, horrible stuff. Use a bit of grease with a metal frame, aluminium or steel. If you've got a carbon frame, a bit of carbon grip on that seat post. So I'm gonna mount my hose to the bottom of my seat post. This RockShox Reverb is hydraulic. So I'm dealing with oil. So I'm obviously gonna have to bleed this system after. Other seat posts use a uh, normal gear cable, um, so you have to check the manufacturer's website to see exactly how to mount your hose or cable to your seat post. So I'm gonna now put my seat post into the frame. Uh, I'm just gonna coax the hose down as I'm doing it. On the post you can see there's a minimum insertion mark, so you need to make sure it's in at least that far, otherwise you can damage the seat post or the frame. So with the seat post fitted in the frame, it's time to get the bike out of the stand and now get your saddle set to the correct height. So my posts on maximum extension, now I'm gonna play around, you know, make sure that that is my maximum normal pedaling seat height. From there, this is now all fixed. So I can now attach the hose to the frame and worry about trimming the excess of the hose from the handlebars. Okay, so seat post is in, set at the correct height. Now I'm gonna move up to the handlebars and get this lever mounted where I want it. Uh, I'm taking advantage of SRAM's matchmakers. So I've got the brakes as well. So that actually mounts on really nicely underneath my left brake lever. I would spend a little bit of time trying to get that lever somewhere really nice and handy. So I'd say I use my seat post as much as I use my gears out on a ride. So if I'm having to move my grip to get to it, it's slightly dodgy. So you're not gonna use it when you need to use it in those more technical situations. So that's in a really nice spot. Now it's time to have a look at trimming that hose. You can see that mine is really long. It's coming out of the frame down there. 
I've got quite a lot of excess hose there. So what I want to do is mount this hose to the bike using the clips and the zip ties that it has. Make sure I've got a little bit of excess there so that's not too tight a curve. Bring it all the way up so that my excess is up here and that's where I can trim it from. So with the reverb, what you need to do is take that lever off the handlebars and just wind that lever off the hose. Get yourself a really nice sharp pair of cutters. You want to take off that excess, but obviously you need to leave enough so your bars can move freely. So I think I take a bit off that. Nice clean cut. You probably want to use a nice little pick or something just to open that hose back up. So now the hose are the right length, I can reattach my lever. Uh, the RockShox is a hydraulic system, so that's going to need re-bleeding. Um, if your dropper post is uh, mechanically actuated, so with a, a cable, uh, that might be slightly more simple, but it's just making sure you get that uh, cable or hose to the correct length. So there you go, there's how to fit a dropper seat post. The most important parts really are getting that correct seat post for your frame, working out the routing and then just sorting out the cable hose length so it's not really long and looks untidy but not too short so that you can't steer properly and now my reverb is going to need bleeding so if you want to you can click up there for how to bleed a RockShox reverb dropper seat post we can click down there for our feature on seat up versus seat down or you can click on me i'm a reverb to subscribe to gmbn